Well, you may have noticed more stray cats in your neighborhood. Experts say the population is rising rapidly due to overwhelmed shelters and a vet shortage. This week is National Cat Week, and a local nonprofit has helped more than 200 stray cats get spayed and neutered. It's dire. I have not seen it be so bad in a long time. Animal welfare experts say the feral cat population is exploding in Metro Detroit. Last week, All About Animals Rescue in Warren was packed with folks bringing in stray cats. Because I think this is the worst year that we've seen in a very long time. The nonprofit Feline Fund raised $12,000 to offset the cost to spay and neuter feral cats. It usually costs about $55, but today it was 10. We actually don't take any profit whatsoever. So every single penny donated to Feline Fund goes directly back into funding veterinary care. But it really is critical if you want to keep kittens and cats out of shelters that are already overrun, then you've really got to focus on TNR. TNR stands for Trap, Neuter, Return. Volunteer Veronica Miazga brought in seven cats for the reduced cost clinic. A lot of times it's hard to find volunteers to like go out and actually trap all these cats. But when you know we get a turnout like this and we have so many people with a like-mindedness, I think it's great. Feline Fund says cats are one of the least funded animal groups, and with a vet shortage, the challenge to protect and manage the population is compounded. Like, can you give people a sense of what you're seeing? Oh, we're getting some days 120 walk-ins of cats where we might have got 30 in the previous years. And in previous years, what are we looking at? A 10 year span, 20, what are we talking? What we're looking at last year. Experts say 80% of kittens going into shelters are from outdoor cats, and half of those kittens will die before they reach three months. What we don't want is seeing people bringing cats in and getting euthanized, but the reality is, is people can't even do that because shelters are so full, rescues are at full capacity, we're out of fosters, um, it's, everyone's doing the best that they can, so days like this are super important. Well, the need is certainly gro growing. And joining us now from Feline Fund is my friend, Tara. <laughs> Thank you for being with us in studio. Good to see you again. Incredible to see you in action when you're in a shelter and you're providing a service like this. But really, uh, the, the need you are seeing, uh, experts are seeing, is just exploded. Well, I think the, the issue is, is we are seeing a, a, a vet shortage. That yeah. is a big issue. So people are trying to get their pets spayed and neuters. But also, when you're looking at the outside stray community, mm -hmm. you're also seeing a lot of the COVID cats, which a lot of people don't okay. know what that means. But it's the, I need a cat during COVID. So right. we took on this responsibility, and then we got rid of this responsibility and so let them go in the streets. And now we're seeing lots of kittens. And this was a very rough kitten season for a lot of our rescues and shelters. And you were talking about the importance of partnership. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? When it, I mean, it's National Cat Week. Yeah. We're talking about cats yeah. all week. It's actually also National Shelter Appreciation Week. So I oh. wanted to give a shout out to two of our partners. Okay. Since we're talking partners. Yeah. Uh, Michigan Humane and uh, the Humane Society of Huron Valley. Both incredible partners that we've worked with through the year. But I think the difference with us, so like Feline Fund, we thrive in working with partnerships. So like okay. when we take donations in, the donations don't stay with us. Right. It actually goes to all of the partners. So it goes to the individual trappers, so the trapping community oh. who are doing TNR. It goes to rescues who need additional funding. So we keep zero dollars, but partnerships matter. When you're talking about partnerships and somebody may see a stray cat in their neighborhood, how can they get involved when, when it comes to trapping? So there's a few ways of doing it. Okay. So one, you could do the TNR yourself. So actually, if you go to felinefund.org, we actually have a list of how oh. you can take a class. You can do it online. You can go to All About Animals in Warren and take a class. So there's lots of opportunities. There's also trapping communities. So you can okay. research that. We also have that on our I website. I did not know that. There's a, a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, the reality is that people always want the cats to live in their their homes. Yeah. I, I have two cats at home. I they absolutely live in my home and I would never let them outside, but cats can survive outside. Mm. And when we're seeing these shelters have such an overpopulation problem, right. we're going to see more animals getting euthanized. So there's ways to curve that. There's yeah. ways to making sure that if we get these pets or these cats spayed and neutered, um, we get them their vaccinations and we get them ear tipped, then we can actually let them back in the community as long as we're helping them and giving them shelter and things like that. Talk about the ear tip again. Yeah. So when you are actually out in the community, a lot of times you'll see a cat and it'll have the tip yeah. of its ear clipped off. 
that actually means that cat has already been spayed, it's already been neutered, and to leave it be. This, this mm. cat is not gonna create a population issue, they're not gonna have a bunch of kittens, and they are surviving just fine on the streets. That's a great uh, sign to look out for. Uh, so if folks want to get involved, because the one thing that really stood out to me when we were at All About uh, in Warren yeah. was just the amount of the volume of people who are taking time out of their busy lives to help with our feral cat population. So the feral cat population, A, cats are the most underfunded in animal welfare. So it's one of those issues of, I'm a dog person too, so people are like, oh, cat lady. But it's the reality is, is you're seeing these animals not receive any funding. Yeah. But then you're seeing a community all work together to try to help this and curve this issue. But I think what's unique about it is, so like that event specifically was on feral cat day. Yeah. So we did 213 Incredible. cats that day. So it, that cost about $12,000 when you look yeah. at it. But what was interesting about it is as I go back to partnerships, I could not have done it with all, all of those trappers. I couldn't have done it right. with the amazing employees at All About Animals. And ironically, I couldn't have done it without all the customers at Premier Pet Supply. Right. So, they so actually, we all have a role yeah, to play. Yeah, they fundraised for the entire day. So when I look at it, they did three months. They were able to make sure all these cats got these services. It was a huge deal. Well, Tara, thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. And again, partnerships matter. So if you would like to partner with Feline Fund, we've got information on clickondetroit.com. And we've got more stories from across Metro Detroit in the next half hour. We will be right back. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.